that currently France is the most important provider of players in the big five. So in, in this in this uh, in this big big five championship. Before Brazil, Argentina, Spain and all this country. We are not the best nation in, in soccer. We are far from that. But because we built a plan, we became Maybe by chance, maybe, but also because we, we, we try to, to design something efficient, we become one of the first nations uh, in terms of youth development. And it's not, it's not a coincidence. So I can show you three main areas in terms of youth development. I told you we were upset to lose here in the 70s. Every game in the Euro uh, European uh, Cup, we, 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 we lost against a very all the country. We were, everybody ma uh, made love, uh, made love on, at us. It was a, a kind of big joke. So we decided to create in the, seven, in the 70s a first national center called Vichy to build athletes. We lacked of athletes and we built here, a national center in the uh, center of France to train the kids eight, nine times a week. We built players like Papin, all these players very physical, very uh, good players, but not very gifted. At that time, in 73, the first, um, the first academy uh, was created in Nancy, east of France. So we built the athletes and we began to build the structures. The second area is very important because in 84 we decided for each uh, professional club in League 1 and League 2 to make mandatory uh, a, a professional academy with a lot of specification and you, you hosted a double past and all this story began here we wanted dormitories, we wanted school, we wanted a uh, degree for our coaches. All the mandates we are going to talk now, right now, in this country. All the mandates. So, <coughs> two categories. The first one, top level, facilities, coaches, and in the, in the mandates. But also we evaluate our academy in terms of efficiency. How, the, uh, how much uh, player signed. How many play by the homegrown player? How, um, how much? Uh, how many uh, international player in uh, played in the national teams? It's two kind of category. First or two in terms of quality of setup, and A or B in terms of efficiency. So we also built at that time a preformation center. Preformation center is. Uh, for the kids between 13 and 14. It's two years, uh, it's, um, it, it's, it's last two years. We built Clairefontaine in, 80, in 88, and the concept was because here we, we won the, 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 the Euro in, 80, in 84, we evaluated that we had good players, but not enough gifted technically. So all the purpose of these centers, here it was develop the athletes, we wanted to develop the kids, the talents, only one kids, one balls. So a lot of repetition, a lot of, lot of drills with balls. We developed Henri, Galas, all these players come, fr come from these centers. So here, after we had some bad beat, we won the World Cup, we won the Euro, but we had some bad beat in South Africa, and we realized with, uh, sp with Spain, with some country, we were far from the high level in terms of tactics. We, were, we, ha we had very gifted players, Ribéry, Henri, lot Nasri, Ben Arfa, but we lacked of tactical 
tactical meaning, tactical intelligence. So we revamp. In 2008, we create a, a research, research cell. Okay? We revamped every, every, uh, everything in terms of coaching education, in terms of content. So right now, what we are going to talk, to talk now, it's all about the new methodology we decided to change because of South Africa the, and the mentality of our player. Now, we want first to develop intelligent kid in the collective aspect and not only very good player, but very um, selfish player. Okay? So it's, this is a story. Here we began, obviously, not in, 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 like in America, to build the post formation, the formation. Here it was all about pre formation. Okay? And we, we, co we, we, we continued to, to work on, on formation and post formation. And now, in this new, the current uh, uh, era, we stress on pre formation and pre academy. Because we think these two periods are crucial if you want to develop world-class player. <laughs> okay? This is uh, the topic. So, but the common thread of all this era is we, pretty soon, we spent a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources to develop our coaching education. And it's... I think if, if France became a, a good nation of soccer, it's only because this plan and this capacity to develop good coaches. So we, we got good results, but the result for the kids, okay, the, 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 the objective of the French Federation is not to win everything, it's to, to stay in the top three, top four of the nation. And in Europe, you will see it's often Spain, France, Germany, sometimes some very good uh, uh, smaller, uh, smaller country, Switzerland, Serbia, sometimes Portugal, but it's a kind of bar. We, we cannot win everything, but it's more to stay at the right standard. So, right now, we have 32 profe uh, professional centers, okay? for the formation between 16 and 21. This professional club have also a pre-formation pre center between 13 and 14. And the French Federation has 21 centers around the country to develop pre-formation only, not formation. The Federation uh, um, take care of the kid bit, uh, when they are 13 and 14 only. We take, a, we take care now ab uh, about the, the, the women's soccer because it, it's, it's a kind of discovery for us. It's, uh, we weren't uh, uh, aware about that. We began uh, maybe uh, re really uh, eight years ago and when now we have only uh, 60,000 uh, pl uh, female player and we are we compete with the best one and you are the best one in this in this area only 60 because of the of the, of the system so this is the current platform just to explain to you that after the preformation in the FFF system the kids, the best kids, the best talent will go automatically in the professional club. So the federation take care of the, of the kids when they are 13, the clubs too, but after the pipeline is in the professional club, not, for the not in the federation, okay? So just to explain you, I'm here, I travel a lot around your country, I'm pretty aware that France is, pr is pretty the same size than Texas, okay? So it's easy for us to do that in Europe. It's easy to travel. It's easy to, to organize a lot of things. Here, I understand the, the, the issue we, we are faced. Let's dream. 
Okay, we have roughly two, two million people. You have four, five million uh, 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 players. Excuse, excuse me. We have roughly two million of registered players. You have four, maybe five. Imagine here, 30 excellent centers for pre formation all around the country with, with maybe one, more than 1,000 talents. There's exactly the same setup in our clubs, okay? In our clubs is Philly, for example, preformation, dormitories, doctor, physio, athletic preparator. After the best talent of this first stage, feed the, the professional academy only, formation between 16 and 21. And for the sake of both, we have good clubs and the exchange between the federation, the, selection, the, the national teams, and the club is constant. Constant exchange, Laurent uh, now uh, was a national coach, the exchange between the club and the federation is, uh, is always, in, always moving. Okay? So, it's a dream. It's not possible here because uh, the, the culture is difficult, because the money is, uh, is not the same, the, 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 the football, uh, football is, is friends has a social impact, so the, the, the town, the city uh, give a lot of, the government go, uh, give a uh, give lot of money to the, to the club and to the professional club to, to promote the kids and to promote the, the social aspect. So, To come back our, 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 uh, on our plan, we think we have three main. We have to develop three main areas to develop world-class player on a large scales. But the purpose is not to develop only in one town. It's to develop a country. First is competition. We have to play off often, not too often. I know here sometimes the kids can play each day, bam, 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 uh, uh, during the, the summer break or the tournament, they can play a lot, too much. We have to take care of the kids. And to play well, we won't develop players if we play in a bad way. Uh, Nico talked about to play long. No, you can play. We, we, we estimate we need to develop a kids around 34 and 40 games. Not 60, not 15. But we have to play this game in the right way. Otherwise, it's useless. The second very important point is to, in to develop the elite pathway. It's exactly what we talk about, the structure. <coughs> Here, we are in the elite pathway of Philadelphia, of this country. We have to develop structure like that all around the country to offer the best structure the best for the best players. Okay? And then, the for us, very important point, we have to develop the coaching education. Because we have to, to be able to guarantee the coach proficiency and the specificity for each stage of development. The best coach for the best, the best, coach for the best player. It's very important and it's exactly what we try to do with the EFCL. So, only if you are efficient in this free area, we can regularly develop world-class player on the large scales. It's not world-class cla player one year. <coughs> it's try to be efficient as more as, as, more as possible. I, we, we think in, 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 in French club, if we can develop two or three good players in League One, in League Two each year, it's good. So world-class player, it's, it's pretty rare. But it's just to give you an idea. And if I come back here, competition, size of competition, meaningful of the competition, uh, amount of competition, competition from abroad, clubs from abroad, we have to improve a lot of things. Here, Elite Pathway, we are in the maybe the first one, uh, academy in this country in terms of uh, cr creation? No, uh, dormitories, uh, uh, school, not the, not, the f no, not the first one. In terms of, um, it's pretty 
you, you, this academy was created in two, three, four years ago? The school? The school? Yeah. Yes, but how many now LA has a school, but you, we have maybe <coughs> maximum two, three, four clubs with school, with, with their own school. So you can imagine how, how <laughs> what kind of task we have to catch up the delay in terms <coughs> of elite pathway, in terms of coach communication. If we compare both structure, I don't want to be, to be tough, but to get your EFCL in France and to, uh, or your pro license, it's an amount of work you cannot imagi imagine. So this is the three main aspects we have to fix it if we want regularly develop world-class players. So we have a lot of work in front of us. That's why we, f we thought in, in, in 91, 92 <coughs> that we had we needed to create a specific uh, license to develop technical, uh, technical um, director in charge of youth development only. Okay, this is, this is the architecture. Okay, and after the UFA, you can decide to become a professional uh, to, to, to pass your pro license or your um, youth license, youth elite license. So it's pretty heavy. We developed 20 coaches over, um, over the last few years uh, with uh, MLS. Uh, most of them are in, the, in this room. We, we decided to, cr to, 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 to do an, uh, another session with 20 guys, but w I decided to, to short the format because it was too heavy and we need to develop more people in one year and not only twen uh, 20 in two years. I think we have to be more <coughs> efficient, okay? So, what means coaching education? We have a concept uh, in, in France, it's called the pedagogic triangle. If we want to, to be very efficient in uh, youth development, we have, to, we have to have a coach and the coach has to, to know himself to know himself, uh, how he, 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 he communicate, how he teach, how he, 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 he function, to be really aware how he, he needs to, to, co to, to, to teach his player all the knowledge he has to, to give. We have to know the young player. A young player is not a player, he's not an adult. So he has to know all the stages of this uh, period and he has to know all the, the weaknesses, all the all the very specific period uh, in terms of uh, growing. He has to know the game. And I think the high level games, the, to develop a world class player is not to develop a good player. And I talk often uh, with my, 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 uh, my, my coaches and one of them is present here, he's a friend. We managed to, to develop pl good player here, pretty good player, but we are not good at developing world-class player. And these courses, this guy is missioned with his staff, with his staff, is to develop world-class player, but we have to know the game. We have to be a, for a former player, or do we have to have a very good teacher to learn the game? It's not, you cannot develop player by random, it's a, it's a job, and you have to learn this job. So, what to teach, how to teach, what are your methodology to teach, how to make them autonomous, we will see, but we have to know, I think, here, to really know the game, because here the culture, the soccer culture, is not your first, uh, what's a, it's not your first, f football is not your first activity. So we have to catch up the delay in terms of soccer culture and in terms of knowledge of the game. We have a good learner here, we have good uh, hard worker, but our coaches need to, 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 to know more the high level constraints of the game, the game demands. So 
three main uh, area of development in this, in, this, uh, in this course. Try to optimize the player potential. Try to design a youth project development and run a high level structure. And the most important to me, try to become an expert in scouting, in training, and to be an expert on the field. This is some, uh, okay, some things we have to develop. Here, knowledge of the game, how to, to, to understand the, the, pow the, the balance of power of a game, of a, situ a tactical situation to be able to, to, to guide and to help our player to make the right de decision in a split of seconds. Okay? Teach through a game plan. We think now we need to, to, to give meaning as more as possible to our player and the, the, the coach, the, co the developer has to, to give, a, to, to have a, a precise, a specific idea, or idea of what he wants to develop and what he, he expects. So this is the spirit of, the, of this program. Optimization of the player potential and not the results. Okay? Of the, the result. Normally, if you perform, if you develop well at the end, you will get the right result or not. But normally, if you, if you work well, a good player costs a lot, but a wonderful technical relationship between two players is priceless. This quote is very important because if we cannot buy, maybe it, it, it's the case in a lot of clubs here, if we cannot buy a top player, maybe we, we can develop very, a very good team and to develop relationship to become a very good team. Players mustn't go on the field to ask questions to themselves but to give response. Consequently, the coach has to organize his work, his programmation, his periodization to help his player to give the right response on the field and not him with the remote control to give the response. So this, this sentence is very important because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of knowledge, it's a lot of coordination with your staff to prepare the kids when he is 19, 20, to give the right tactical response in link with the technique. So, what type of player for tomorrow? And in this country, I can see a lot of room of improvement. What means best talent? Talent to be able to learn, talent to be able to love the game. We talk about this aspect uh, in, in this room. We have a lot of talents, but we did a lot of mistakes. In France, believe me, and I, I would like to avoid you, but we, we did a lot of mistakes. Griezmann, he was thir thir 13, 14. He traveled around the France. It was a Tour de France, Tour de France, but uh, by car. He, 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 he tried 15 academies. 15 academies, no, no, no. Not enough athletic, not enough athletic, not enough bo body build, okay? He signed in, uh, in uh, Real Sociedad, okay? Payet, he was in my former club, Seven, uh, 16. He come from Reunion Iceland. Reunion Iceland is, is close to Mauritius Island, 10,000 kilometers. He has a soda, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, very at ease in the... Fired. Two, two years after, one year after, he signed for another club. He, he, he came back in his island, he, he, he did well. Nantes, with Laurent, signed him. Boom, paf! Marseille and now Aston Villa. I'm not sure Jordi Alba would have played in France. I'm not sure he, he will play here. When he, if, if these kids, if these three kids here were played, have been played here, when, when they were teenagers, 
they don't they don't reach out the right the, the the top of the of the pyramid. I'm sure, because here I can see fr France, 15 years ago or 10 years ago, and sometime now. So Benzema, 15, no, our best player, 15. You uh, know YouTube with us uh, with uh, recording. Uh, we don't. We, 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 we won't be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, meeting with the co meeting with the coaches. My uh, Anna Olio was a, uh, a good friend of mine, and, uh, and Fred told me, Fred, Benzema when he was 15, he was like that, thin, he was um, awkward. He didn't uh, score a lot of goals, and we we asked the question to the to the to to, to my staff. Ah, Benzema, not really a good season. Who, who is uh, for or against? It was pretty, his testing, speed testing, were not good enough. It was balanced, the opinion, around 10 guys, 60 guys. So they decided to, to, to keep him, to keep, okay, one, one more year. After, boom, 30 goals in, in the season, one year after, first team, directly. So, now, believe me, because of Griezmann, because of a lot of players we missed, we are more attentive of our assess base, scouting based assessment. So, but scout is making choice, and we have to, to have a common vision in your club, in your staff, with the parents. We need to know what to observe, what learning, and we need to, e to evaluate in the right way the potential of your player. And here, talent is complex, but it's often to see what is invisible. What you can presume, what you can imagine, but it's not okay, the kids scored 20 goals. But why he scored 20 goals? Because he was faster, he was stronger, it's not a good base to assess the kid. Does he run right? Does he move very well? This is a good uh, evaluation. And if it's teen and with uh, uh, at the starting point of, of his growing, if you add muscle on the on this on these kids, it will be an exp you will mul multiplicate his uh, his potential by four by five. Our best player Vieira we had Pogba. I saw Pogba was in my academy when he was 15, he was like that, okay? And we had another player, <coughs> tall, like a, but he was like that. And we had an, another player, very good, more efficient. But sometimes discussion between coaches, oh, the, the, the second guy called, was called El, uh, El Ajiba. Oh, El Ajiba is better, El Ajiba is better. But Man United, Man United picked Pogba, not the, other, not the other guys. So the role of the technical directors is also to understand what will be, what will be and try to, to guess what could be the best potential in your academy. And, your, and the, result, the current result is of, often not the right way to evaluate a player. So this is our current assessment base in France, it's, it's a picture, but because of Naisna, the bus, now we change. It's the first aspect, understanding play, technical skills and athletic potential. A quote of us say, it's easy to build an athlete, it's difficult to build a soccer player. What we want to teach to, to our coaches is to try to, to decipher, to analyze all these situations and to, to, to try to train our kids to be able, when they are 19, to, 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 to make the right decision. So that's why we did the game, tactical decision, concentration, specific motor ability. But we think now the technique aspect in charge with a little number the relationship, the quality of the timing of the relationship between several players is crucial. So, consequence 
it's not, the purpose is not to develop 20 kids. I'm, f I'm sure here it's easy to develop maybe 20 kids. We, we talk about how to spread out a methodology, how to be sure in the east of France, in the south of France, in the north of France, we can have pretty the same uh, um, idea of how to develop a high level uh, a world class player. How to spread, how to harmonize, how to design a, com a common technical project, how to give relevant guidance for our coaches. Because it's, it's all about that. Coaching education, it's not only to develop 20 coach, it's to develop 100, 200, 2000. V this is our goal here. It's not I want to develop MLS coaches, but m our goals must be to develop the country and to inspire the country and not only a, a league. Because if we, if we cannot improve the level of the coaching education in this country, we couldn't reap the benefit of all these kids and they, all these kids played every day on the field. Make sense or not? So, use a method, give the tools to our coaches. So, let's talk about methodology. This is the FFF framework. Here, we want to help him with the right setup, setup with the right instru instru instruction, to help him to, make, to become autonomous. I, I set up the right instruction, you play, I can notice if I'm right, if I'm good, I will see what I expect. I want them to have fun. I want them to be able to read the game. Okay? And the coach behavior, it's more to give feedback, positive. Sometimes to stop the game, to ask questions, but not to give the response. Okay? It's important to help him to process. The second aspect is more here. I want to make them autonomous, but I am going to ask them questions, but I'm going to be the expert. If I, he, did, he cannot give me the response, I, I'm, I'm going to give him. I'm going to show him. I'm going to dis demonstrate him. Okay? I am the expert. I'm here, just a guide. And here, I want to improve a, a technical skills in link with a tactical situation. So. I want to make them confident. I want to, to try to improve their skills with meaning in a specific situation. Okay? What we need? What choice to develop high level player? Because here I know we do a lot of technical skills. You are expert in technical uh, drills. I think first in France, we have to, to stress about active pedagogy. But we need both, because we have also, we, we need to develop technical skills, but with me meaning. But the two ways of teaching are complementary, but now in France, we, we want to stress on the capacity, the cognitive aspect in link with the, ta the technical aspect. So, it's a systemic approach. What we need, the mental aspect, okay? We need the capacity to be engaged, the technical, not only the techniques, for the technique to serve a, a, a move. And we need to link all this aspect with the athletic <coughs> aspect. You understood? We are not pretty focused on the athletic aspect when the kid is between 6 and 14. To, for us, develop the aerobic aspect, the motor skills in the game with some drills, uh, some, uh, some uh, workshop, it's okay. But we are not in the, in the room to, to develop after it, it's, it's the next step. So, try to develop the game intelligence to anticipate. I we think it's the top of the top, try to, to anticipate what's the next action offensively and defensively. So, to do that, we have to organize 
a high level of consultation toward the, 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 the relevant queue of the game. In a game with uh, 22 players, we have a uh, thousand of information. The best player, uh, Pano uh, talked about that yesterday, in a defensive uh, aspect, is capable to, to, to analyze and to discriminate only five information. Uh, body orientation, uh, mate, goal, space, in, in a split of second. This is a high level constraint. I have thousands of, of information, <laughs> I narrow my, 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 uh, my capacity to analyze the situation. For that, we have to, to set up the right situation through the game, through the, the tactical situation, to help him to make the right choice when he is 19. Repetition with variable random, not always the same thing, not mechanical. I, we don't think it's, it's enough to develop a kid. It's not possible to develop a kid. Okay, we'll see, we'll see later in my demonstration. We, we need to make them autonomous. The principle of the game are the weapon for your player to, re to solve the situations. If you don't teach them the principle of the game, you cannot build a world-class player. The world-class player are able together to solve the problem in a split of second. On the bench, and I was in the GA uh, Cup generation, I saw too much our coaches over present on the bench. We can win the GA Cup, okay? We can play, but when we play, when they, when they, when they will play against uh, Boca Junior, Palmeiras, in Dallas, you couldn't do anything for them. And if we want here, it's a goal, I think it's our goal, to develop world-class players, we want to accept to lose some games, maybe, sometimes. And to help them, to, to make th them autonomous. After, try to organize all this uh, stuff uh, in, in relation with the game plan. Game plan, style of play, it's what you want. Okay? All these parameters are linked, okay? But when we talk about youth development, if between 11 and 14, 15, we are good in this both aspect, after it's easy to build the athletes, we think. Maybe you are not, uh, you don't agree, but we, it's, it's now our um, experience. So, priority, learning through the game, learning environment, they have to practice, they have to have fun, we have to give meaning to the training session, we have to try to, to, try to develop e-player with i-team, we have iPhone, we have to, to have high team and high player. And it's a systemic approach. We have to take into account the four aspects of the game together and not isolated. After when they are 16, 15, we can maybe isolate some. We could isolate, but you train your kids for a week. If you spend each, again, it's only my opinion, if you spend 30 minutes each session to work about only athletics, we lack of decision making here. We lack of culture of soccer. We have to catch up the daily. We have to spend time to, to have fun, to play and to solve problem. So now, how to develop? It's, it's a good symbol for us because it's humility, technique, collective, Collective, collective aspect, but I don't forget what we are here. It's, it's, it's I hope to develop this kind of player uh, in, in the near future and to try to, to, won, to win the World Cup in, a, in, a, in, 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 in a one, one decade. It could be, but going to be tough. Huh? So, smart kids, this is a, a, a rapid guys, a rapid kids. How to pragmatically uh, develop these kids? I re I'm, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself. 
only the, tr the training process can develop good kids. It's not... <laughs> all, all this stuff are only tools. We need good people on the field, okay, with right knowledge. In some country, they develop kids and very good players only with one field and coaches and balls, okay? So don't upside down the priority. The priority is not the technology, the priority is the tools to help you to do more efficiently your job. So this is a training session. Thank you, Bob. Uh, for uh, welcoming me in, uh, in Red Bull Academy. I wanted to coach, but I wanted to try to come here because we didn't get uh, uh, the opportunity to, to be on the field. Maybe it will be the next step for the future to alternate field and uh, stuff because we did that in Portland. To go on the field, I wanted to be very pragmatic for you guys and try to, to give you some, some input. My, my objective was here to develop possession to advance how to progress face a strong unit. If I work on that, I need to create <coughs> the, the opposite situation is op increase the density and the, the opponent try to impede me to progress. Am I, am I right? Okay. And in transition phase, I'm not f it's not my first objective. I try to un engage the counter-attack or, or secure the possession and try to organize the, the unit and prevent to play through. So, first, my first question is how I want to play. Okay, what my idea of soccer? If you are here, you have to, to know how you want to play. To, if it's not clear in your mind, it cannot be clear on the field. So, what's your DNA in Philly, in Serbia, in Dallas, in, uh, in Real Salt Lake? What kind of player you need to play your soccer? Scouting assessment? Scouting evaluation? No, this one, no, not for us. He cannot play here. But it's good. No, no. He can play uh, here, in this club, but not here. Why? I don't know. You know. I don't know. We try to... It's a fashion to try to build from the back, but to reap the benefit as more how we can of each situation. I think Paino talked about that yesterday. I try to build with my staff. It's not only me in my office. We have a staff. We try to, to organize all the, all the stuff to create a good program we call periodization. And I'm going to show a high level sequences, okay? With my team, with Barca, with Real, or maybe a team with a specific situation to solve. Here, I, 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 I decided to show you uh, a situation with very strong opposition, a balance of power, very, very balanced, and, and the team tried to, to play and to progress, to advance in playing uh, mainly into the gap and to play on the deck. This is a situation I showed to the kids. Huh? I showed to the kids before, after. This is a Roma, Chelsea, two years ago. Now, I need to develop, I need to, to go on the field with drills to develop my kids, but to pay attention to my team, but to strike the right balance with the individual development. And I think we have to progress, we have to improve our capacity to pay attention to our kids individually. We are, because we want results, because we want, we develop in France, and more here also, more the team than the kids. And don't forget, we are, we are here to develop their potential and not to win absolutely the game. So if we spend too much time on the team, not enough repetition, meaningful repetition, you won't develop the kids and the potential won't be uh, uh, good enough to reach out his objective. So this is uh, the, the, the training session. Okay, with two parts. Here I try to improve the team. Here I try to improve. I did two focus, two focus on two kids. My job is to develop these two kids because they are very high potential to me. If I miss that, they are going to arrive at 19. They could play in college. They could play maybe now in MLS, but it's not our purpose. We have to, 
we, ha we want to, to win the World Cup. It's so we have to, to get people and players capable of solving this, this, this issue. So I can show him some image of high level, what we did yesterday. I designed my, my session and I want to start with a game to, to switch on, to hook, to hook them. And not to begin by the, okay, we are going to play the, the, f the, the technical drill of, no, the technical drill to show them what we can improve, what we have to improve. So tactical situation and link for Nico, technical and tactical aspect. After, I, have, I debriefed with them. I debriefed with them, it was very interesting. With uh, Paul, collectively. I think Ami is a kind of hyperactive. He, he, have, he has a high expectation of what he wants to achieve. He, he does uh, home school, school at home. He drives one hour and a half one way and one hour and a half two way. He has a high level of, of commitment, so high, maybe too high. He has to take information, he has to handle the distance, he's often too close. He has to, to solve his body orientation and his emotional control because he has a high expectation when he loses the ball. He loses, he's often a kind of um, disappointment. So, here he has, to, 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 he has to, to improve his first touch, his driving, taking from, from information, body orientation, confidence. What is funny when I ask him, how can you improve? What, why you, you, you lost the ball? He told me, d is it technical or tactical? Because you didn't see or because you think your skills are not good? He told me, coach, both. <laughs> <laughs> he told me both because I, I, I can't see, I, I, turn, I can't turn the head and because my, I need to improve my first touch. It's for your response. So I'm going to, to organize the game with good question with power of the instruction. Here, we talk about my friend uh, Laurent. We are not very fond of one touch playing too much and off often. Why? Because one touch playing after, I could, I could call that, excuse me, fucking, what, fucking one touch playing. Because all over the place, sometimes, one touch playing, one touch playing, but not, sometimes you have to drive to progress. So. First touch playing is very interesting pedagogically to understand and to make them ob obliged to, 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 to take information. But after, if we want true creativity, we have to let them playing in one touch or in driving. So the power of in instruction is very important. What kind of setup? When I can play forward, when I have a space available front of me, he has to take information and be able to, to reply out, out because I have no pressure on me or if I have pressure I can avoid the pressure with my first touch or through a combination. He has to know and these kids, these kids, we need to help them to understand the game, to understand, to, 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 to learn the game. So when you evaluate you guys here in this country, don't forget in South America, and thank you uh, 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 Alfonso to, to be able to propose this kind of proposition. Don't forget they are going to play in the real, in the real game. Palmeiras, Barça, Lyon, uh, River Plate. This is a real game. If they have scored three or four goals in the USDA, it's just a, a mirage. So you have to create an environment to be fair to take care of them, but also to tell them, oh, oh, here, it's not the real life. The real life is it's different. And each kid is different. So this is my conclusion. Our job, the coach, the, the role of the coaching education is to develop people capable of creating this environment, capable of this level of specificity, details, to be able to offer him, Scotty, because I think he has the potential, him, if he, if, if he don't manage, if he doesn't manage to be professional, 
we will have a big res responsibility because he's coming on his ear, his skills are here, and he has everything to, 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 succeed, to succeed. But I hope we could propose him. We have to propose him. And all these kids deserve the best coaches, best coaches for the best players to reach out their, their, their potential. Okay? Thank you. It was, it was long, but uh, I wanted to be pragmatic and very uh, on the field for, to, to try to give you some uh, input. Okay, thank you.